In Amsterdam, after seven days of celebration, Holland reaches the highlight of Jubilee Week, the inauguration of the new queen. Under the traditional canopy of fishnets, representatives of the Dutch colonial empire, the third largest in the world, lead the way into the century-old new church. Lords and dignitaries of the Netherlands, princes and princesses from seven European royal houses, the world's statesmen and diplomats assemble to honor the new sovereign. From Britain comes Princess Margaret, a smiling, demure figure in a shell pink dress. Inside the church, the uniforms and dresses of the 3,000 guests merge in a blaze of splendor. Princess Margaret, quiet, unassuming representative of George VI, stands out among them. Guest of honor is the princess, who two days earlier was Queen Wilhelmina. She is accompanied by her two eldest grandchildren. And as the cheers ring out anew, Queen Juliana, her face pale and tense, accompanied by her husband, walks slowly to face the representatives of the people of Holland to pledge her faith to them and to receive their pledges in return. Addressing the members of both houses of parliament, assembled in accordance with tradition, Queen Juliana swears to uphold the constitution. That I the grondwet steeds shall underhouden and handhaven. Zoals een goed koning schuldig is te doen. Zo waarlijk helpt mij God almachtig. In a simple ceremony marked by sincere dignity, Holland inaugurates her new ruler. To this small country of great people whose stout hearts and industry have overcome grave trials, Britain wishes peace and prosperity under Queen Juliana of the Netherlands.